what's going on with your YouTube? Jumping Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. Now, I'm going to have a little discussion video for these things, for these upcoming UNC ones. And first of all, I just must say, this is going to be a crazy release. <laughs> just good luck, guys. So, uh, usually on this video, I do like holding the sales and stuff like that. I will do a, a video on that. I just kind of want to see how this release goes, and then we'll kind of go from there. I'm kind of guessing. I already know how it's going to be, but... Still, I want to make this video out for you guys because I know, I know that the, the release is coming out pretty soon. So I hope I can give some decent advice out there for you guys is should you be panic or patience with these things? Because I know a lot of people actually really want this shoe. This shoe is actually very high in demand. Sometimes, you know, it's not just the little Timmy's. You also get the people that panic buys. I got to come up with a name with that. I don't know. Big Timmy or something. I don't know. Panic buying is what's going to drive the price up during day one because of course everyone takes all that L's after the sneakers app. That's usually when the highest price is because people are panic buying, have that impulse buy. They're freaking out. They just took a L. What's the, where do they go? They go onto the apps and they start to buy and you know go stock x hit that buy now and the price just drives up and yes like i said this shoe is very high in demand but it's gonna be pretty similar what i was thinking about this shoe is like how i said with the mocha ones i did preach patience on these things and i know a lot of people was killing me on these things because i did say patience but you kind of had to watch the market on these things. I was just telling you guys. Like, I did say be patient. Kind of Like I said, you have to watch the market. And same thing with these two. Like, it's a very high demand. You have to keep continue watching the market day in and day out. Just to see if it keep goes up, down, up, down, so on and so forth. Or if it keeps going up and up and up. You know, and that's, that's the kind of thing where you can get that panic buying. Because you keep seeing the price go up and up. And then all of a sudden, you're like, oh crap, I don't want it to go up anymore. But I just want to let you know when it's going to top out. So think it is a little patience game with these things. But it's all about timing too as well. Because once I do see prices dip down, and it's not going to dip down very much. You have to be patient and smart and just be and keep watching the market. So it will, I, I feel like it will dip. Like once people start to get pairs in and once all the late shipments come in. I feel like the price will dip down just a little bit. How much can it go down? Day one is going to be prices around that 420 to like 400. But if you can guys can get a good price day one, like if it's if you're good with the price at 400 and you gotta have it now, then that's fine. But I'm saying if you want to start buying it and investing it, I would preach a little patience, but just be careful. I feel like in due time these things are gonna do very very well I mean it's it just only makes sense because Air Jordan 1 it's already TikToked out and stuff it's the UNC colorway I mean we already saw how the Mocha ones is and I feel like it's basically the same hype and the same energy it's almost it's it's the same type of release so that's basically how it's gonna be and now remember Mocha ones day one these things hit if I'm memory serves correctly these things were like at 380 to about 400 depending on sizes and and a couple weeks later they did dip down to like 350 and they just stayed around that range 350 to 360 and then all of a sudden boom it freaking skyrocketed up now i think people are a little bit smarter on these things i think people are willing to hold hang on, hang on to these things especially since the mocha just came out now the price is really really high on these things and usually usually when a price is already pretty high on a pair of shoes they kind of go down but like I said, there's more demand outweighs the supply by far, by far. And not only that, we're about to get into like another stimulus check, I believe. And also we're about to get in tax season. Just wait to what the little dip's going to be within the next two to three weeks. Once people start to get paired, they're just going to undercut. And the little Timmy's just going to unload on the apps and just do that $1 un undercutting. So right now these things are about like 400 to 420 i expect these things to be the same price around day you know day one after the after the release after the sneakers at release they're probably around that 400 to 420 maybe in 450 it's gonna be crazy and that's what i'm saying like don't don't i think day one after the sneakers at these things are gonna be like 400 to 420 and then once i said once people get pairs i do see prices around like 380 maybe 350 depending on sizes if you're lucky 350 if you're lucky if these things drop down to 350 360 buy them out don't even wait just buy them out or if you can get uh you know sometimes if you can get uh prices that low 
then buy them at 350 because say they're at 380 if you can talk someone down make a couple deals here and there you can buy per pair 350 360 then that's what i would do that's pretty good like i'll buy these things at 350 just to start investing in these things because i know these things are going to do very very well now same thing with gs sizes though gs sizes are gonna i think people learn their lessons from the mocha ones because mocha ones gs sizes they were at like 300 to like 290 at one point and then they just shot up and surpassed men's but i'm thinking with these things here with this size and this colorway gs sizes i think are doing better than men's so gs sizes patience or panic i don't think you can go wrong either way with gs sizes i i think they're gonna stay where they're at they're just gonna always stay high on gs sizes people are People are picking up, man. Strategy of GS sizes. People know to buy up GS sizes. And not only that, the GS sizes are a lot more limited than men's sizes. A lot more. Dude, I think I think in my area, only, I don't think any store has got GS sizes, to be honest. Not in yet, at least. So GS sizes right now on, like say, a size four is like 350, which is probably gonna be the cheapest. Um, and then of course, size six and up, or size five and up is around like that 370, 360. Uh, if you can buy prices around like that 330 340 buy them up buy them up and just hang on to them because just look at like i said mocha one gs sizes it <laughs> they surpassed men's and that you know they went up like they went crazy up gs size i would try to stay with the whole size five to seven i, I don't really like to buy size four size four is a little bit harder for me to move and of course also size seven all the way up to about a nine and a half that's the money size especially on air jordan ones but don't sleep on big sizes as well because i feel like they're going to do just fine and they'll probably even move a lot easier so it, it all of it like i said it's it's this shoe is too much of demand too much uh I, like i said i never I haven't felt hype on this shoe since like the mocha ones and we already saw how that went so Hey, so we can just be careful guys. I told you guys, man, these things were a problem. These were going to be a problem. Here's my thing is that I'm probably gonna buy some pairs here and there, like within the first few weeks. If I can get some decent, you know, pricing, I'll start to buy out. And then once I see, you know, once shipments come in and kind of look at the price market within like a couple weeks, if I see it kind of go down or if it's just kind of steady, that's when I'll make my moves and start to buy them out. Because I do want to invest in the shoe heavily. Like how I did with the Mocha ones. And, and Royal Toes and stuff like that. And this here, this is just... This is a no-brainer, guys. This is a no-brainer, you know. This is going to be insane. So, and that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. This is a patient or panic type of video. You guys let me know what you guys are going to do. And like I said, man. Just go with your gut feeling. Don't always listen to me to the T. You know, like I get sometimes when I make these videos, people really listen to what I say. And hey, sometimes I'm wrong, sometimes I'm right. You know, I just try to do give you guys the best advice that I I can give you guys from my experience. And like I said, I kind of just based off the shoe of how, how the Mocha ones did. So hey, but anyway, guys, if you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe if it's your first time here, comment down below, and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at GermanChris on IG. Sometimes I'm on Twitter. And don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm GermanChris. Peace.